Square moving and shaking to bring home the bacon as 56.97 puts them up nice and easy, lofting them flawlessly through the air and into that red port. While on this blue squad, got two moving forward, a lot going in. They lead 33 to 27. 55 to 27. That's the Cyber Phoenix out of the Flint International Academy. Grab those power cells from the trench. Meanwhile, 55-38 puts them down low for this Red Alliance. Their only question is, can they get them to release? I hate when I've got power cells stuck in my teeth. Aww. Oh, Nelly, the Martians. Would you believe it? The Martians get their... Uh, Power cells in the lower port after bouncing them off of 5238. It's a pretty nifty strategy. And then we have another robot here, that 5227, that's, that's aiming for the balcony. I would recommend people on the second level please uh, take cover. With that, this blue alliance leads 40 to 27. The Martians, 494. Lay out another one. And it just doesn't go in for them. With 30 seconds left. 52, 38. Approaches that bar and gets ready to hang. They ease on up. And we've got two up for the red, one up for the blue. Hey, Joel. Hey, what? I have a fun fact for you. Lay it on me. You know how we have two rookie teams at the Kettering One District? Theoretically. We actually have three. Oh, so not theoretically. Yes, Team 5713, the Beecher Cyberbucks. Every single one of their students are in their first year of first. Wow. So let's give Team 5713 a big round of applause. North side represent. And the Red Alliance wins this match, leading the Blue Alliance 78 to 72, earning two ranking points for the Red Alliance.